hey beautiful. Look at you looking all sexy. Breakfast is ready. Well, I'm afraid you might have to eat alone this time. Why the hurry? I thought we were supposed to live together. We were, but I forgot I had a pre-shift meeting with the chairman this morning. Shoot. Mm. Okay. Catch um, you. Pack you brunch? <sighs> have I ever told you you're the best man in the world? <laughs> mm. Mm. I love you too. Love you too, baby. Oh. <laughs> This was my life, retained, yet amazing. I had everything, a good job, the best husband in the world. But little did I know that all this could be taken away at the snap of a finger. Test results are here. Clearly, what we'd like to know is what it says. We found some tumors in your wife's pancreas. Mrs. Abigail, you have pancreatic cancer. Excuse me? Unfortunately, it is on its final stage. And, um, what is that supposed to mean? You see, this particular cancer progresses very aggressively and it is very hard to detect at this early stage. I would advise we begin treatment immediately. Maybe we can buy some time. Buy some time? But why do you say that like she doesn't have a lot left? Mr. Tibia, she doesn't. How much, how much time are we talking about? Maybe 8 to 12 months. There are several factors that can determine that. It's hard to be exact. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What are you telling me, doctor? What kind of sick joke is this? What kind of useless joke are you call yourself a doctor? Okay. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouted on you, doctor. I'm sorry. Just, just. 
just tell me there's a, there's a mistake somewhere. It's, it's, please let me check again. Please, I, I don't even feel like that. Like, I'm okay. I, I'm okay. I, please, let me check. I am sorry this is happening to you, Mrs. Abigail. Hey. I'm really sorry. Oh my God, babe. No. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm just please say something now. <laughs> What's happening there? I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Um, who is this? Namdi. 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 Okay, I beg. Now, nah, it's okay. I'll for that corner. Just the quarry. This is money. Love it, sir. What kind of corner? Mm. Okay, mother. You know, see, Gakle was there last week. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. this money. This money, you. One gay. Very small gay. Just call, carry for this corner. This money, say, uh, uh, the man leave the house and say, let everybody come out. Ow. I want to happen. I don't understand. I don't understand, madam. Sounds true. What is? Um, I went for a run this morning. I heard something. What? Um, so apparently, Mr. Cletus had a mistress. A rumor has it um, that he left his house and some properties for her. Wow. I didn't. I didn't think it's true till now. There has to be something to it, otherwise all this will not be happening. Good news is, it's none of our business. Let's go. Right? Exactly. Namdi, get. <laughs> Wonderful. You say those painkillers are helping? Actually, they're really helping. I feel less pain than before. Okay, that is great. But then, there's a limit to what those painkillers can do. So I advise you check into the hospital and begin treatment immediately. Or else, the pains could get worse. How can it get any worse than knowing you're going to die in a few months, no matter how hard you try. Look, doctor, I appreciate you really. But if I'm going to go out of this world, I want to go out as me. I don't want any chemotherapy to steal what's left of me. Please. I, I totally understand. But then, I would advise you check into the hospital immediately. 
Because the pains that are coming, you will, you will not be able to stand it. Mrs. Ekong, Mr. Ekong, please talk some sense into your wife. Mr. Ekong, Mr. Ekong. Yes, yes. yes. It's everything all right? Yeah, um, everything is fine. You were saying. I was saying you should talk to your wife. Please try and convince her. She needs to move into the hospital immediately for her treatment. Or else it could get worse. I would bundle her here myself if I could. Since my wife has already made up her mind, and I have no choice but to support her. for you to eat. Do you have anything in particular you want? Anything is fine. Okay. Babe? Yeah? Is everything all right? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You've, you've been off all day. Off? Oh. Something on your mind? <sighs> the only thing on my mind is you. <laughs> now that is that smile I always want to see. <laughs> Up to the kitchen I go. Thank you. <sighs> oh. And you are mine. Oh. While I'm gone, if anything comes up, please don't fail to call me or Dr. Oi, but most importantly, call me. I promise I'll be fine. You have to assure me. Okay, fine. Yes, I promise I will. <laughs> Oh, it's time for you to eat. Uh -huh. Thank you. Go. Do you want to sit up? Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh. Mm. Okay. Have a nice day. I will. You too.
Hi. Hello. Uh, you new around here? As you can see. I'm Abigail. What about you? Barry Biffy. Barry Biffy. Just Bibi. Nice to meet you, Bibi. And welcome to the neighborhood. Thanks. How long have you been doing that? Long enough. Why? <laughs> Nothing, just curious. <laughs> I doubt that. It looks like you're about to lecture me on the dangers of smoking. Touché. You got me. <laughs> do, do you care for drinks at my place? No, thanks. Thanks. So, what's your story? I'm sure you've heard around. It's the hottest news in the area. Well, I can't say that I have not heard. But it's always better to hear from the horse's mouth. Unfortunately, there's nothing to tell. Okay. I'll tell my own story then. I used to be just like you. In love with my smoke. Till I met my husband, got married, and he wouldn't give me a breather until I quit smoking. That was seven years ago. Little did I know that it would come back to haunt me. What do you mean? Let's just say that I'm dying. And it is as a result of an old abandoned habit. Could you be any clearer? I don't understand a word of what you're saying. I have stage four pancreatic cancer. Diagnosed a few weeks ago. Given six months to leave. Well, from the looks of things, it might even be shorter seeing that I have refused treatment. I can say it's the smoke, but there's nothing else I can think of. Or maybe I'm just unfortunate. Are you okay? Baby. I'm sorry. I I've got to go. I'm so sorry. Fine. Came right on time. I miss you. And I miss you even more. Have you had dinner? Mm. <laughs> Your drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. 
you know what we should do? Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. I should base you. Ooh, mm-hmm. not <laughs> Come on. It's odd without me or Andre. A little. Just a little. Oh, I'm so sorry. Why do you keep saying that? Because I'm... I'm supposed to be here with you. Me. Be here for you. But you are, babe. You always are. Besides, your leave starts in a week, so... I need you to hang in there for me, okay? You worry yourself too much. I'm fine, really. Plus, I made a new friend. New friend? Who? The guy from Next Compound. Don't worry. I doubt he's going to come back again anyway. You don't like talking very much, do you? Mm. Oh. I'm a chatterbox when I like someone. So you don't like me? I don't like sick people. Yet here you are. Are you really dying? Well, according to the doctors, yes. And if I heard you correctly, you said you're refusing treatment. Yes. And, and why is that? Let me ask you a question. If you are told you have just six months to leave, would you spend it trying to postpone the inevitable? Or you make the most of it by bonding with your loved ones, making memories and so and so. My mother died of ovarian cancer three years ago. We were dirt poor and living in a geke. So there wasn't much we could do. I'm so sorry. She fought, you know. My mother. She so desperately wanted to live that she sought out the man that she hated the most. The man who gave her money for an abortion and never showed up. But in the end, well, I guess it wasn't a bad move after all. I'm here, aren't I? Wait. The man, Mr. Kletus. He, he was your father. Contrary to the rumors going around in this estate, he was not my sugar daddy. He was my father. 
I know I should have let you know that I'm not your miracle, but then it feels so low. Low. Over and over when you call my name, it feels like a diamond slash and switch so low. Low, low. There ain't no colors after the rain Not even sunshine to stop the rain It feels so low It feels so low Ooh. Baby, stay, don't you go I feel a different right now in me Don't you go I can save the smoke, but there's nothing else I can think of. Or maybe I'm just unfortunate. Damn, it feels so low. Damn, it feels so low. I feel I should let you know that situation got me so crazy Damn, it feels so low no. See, 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 I'm dreaming I wanna wake up Don't wanna stay back Crazy feeling got me feeling so low After the rain, not even sunshine to stop the rain. It feels so low. It feels so low. Ooh, baby, stay. Don't you go. I feel a different right now in me. Hey, don't you go. I see the picture in my mind It feels so low It feels so low See I wanna get it out And I want you not to stay ha! See I want you to stay Baby stay Don't you go I feel the different right now in me Don't you go No, seriously. <laughs> I'm not even trying to sound politically correct or whatever. But when it comes to decision making that affects women and our bodies, men need to take several seats. I mean, can you imagine the rubbish that uneducated man was spewing from his leaking mouth? <laughs> you know, for someone who supposedly grew up in the trenches, you sound very intelligent sound are you implying that i may not be you see look at what i was talking about <laughs> just stay right there okay 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 i may have grown up in the trenches but i didn't let my environment limit me nice i would have graduated with first class honors if i hadn't dropped out so why did you drop out My mom. Oh. Right. Right. I had to stay and take care of her. That plus every penny went into her treatments. I was so devastated, but I'd do anything for my mom. So, um, you know you could still go back to school if you want. <laughs> With all these ASU happenings, no thanks. I'd rather just find something to do. Right now, I just want to live in the moment and enjoy my life. Intelligent girl. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> <sighs> Why 
why isn't your husband back yet? It's getting late. Oh, um, he had sent a text earlier that he would be late. Oh, okay. It's fine. Okay. So, um, my husband, you have met him before, right? Of course. I said hello to him a few days ago. Don't play dumb, baby. I know you were smarter than that. I didn't know he was married. It was about a month ago. I had just lost my father and I didn't think his death would hurt that much. But it did. Almost as much as my mother's. I was losing my mind. So I went to this private bar to drown myself in alcohol. But then I met this man. One look at him and I could tell his life was as miserable as mine. I could see the sorrow in his eyes. It matched perfectly with mine. Get a Long Island please and make it a double. Right away. I don't know if that's a good idea. Could I ask for your pain? The pain, right? My apology. A minute. No. No. I'm such a problem. I think you've had enough, mister. Who are you two to say that? You're drinking, buddy? I reckon you don't need any more drink. What you need is a slapping dose of fresh air. A late night drive. What do you think? I will take that as a yes. Bartender, check please. That was, um, in fact, I do not have the <laughs> words to describe it. I'm just really happy you had fun. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Um... Oh, it's okay. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I can't do this. Nothing. 
something else happened. I swear. I know. How, how, how do you know? I just do. You like him, don't you? He's a married man. Doesn't answer the question. No, it doesn't. But I'm not obliged to answer any question that I don't want to. Just be rest assured, nothing of that sort will ever happen again. What if I want it to happen again? Excuse me? Bibi. I want you to get close to my husband. I need you to make him fall madly in love with you. Please. Babe. What's that? What, what was she doing here? Well, I missed you too. Um, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be that way. I know. I love you. I love you even more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know what? Um, I'll just jump right into the kitchen and fix you some tea. Huh? Well, too late. The nice lady Bibi already made me dinner. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You don't say? I do say. Mm. Although he was a tasteless bowl of green puree, but she says it's good for my health. No. Oh. So you guys are that close now? Close enough. She's been keeping me company for the past few days. She's mm. really lovely. Right. Uh, okay. Well, I will just... Go to the kitchen now and okay. fix myself something to eat. Are you sure you don't want some? No, but I can help you in the kitchen. No, 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 no. you should be resting. I'll be fine. All right, babe? All right, babe. Oh, my dear husband. What I would not give to see you happy again. Woman, very crazy woman. Oh, my God. What? Why are you pacing and looking like you've seen a ghost? You're crazy. <sighs> well, I may be crazy. And maybe if you knew you were dying soon, you'd be crazy too. This has nothing to do with dying. Oh, it has every... Oh. Mm. It has everything to do with dying. Do you think a healthy woman in a right frame of mind will ask another woman to take her husband? I know my husband. He's so committed, so loyal, so a fault. Even till death, he would remain loyal. And I don't want that to happen to him. What makes you so sure he wouldn't just go off in a year or less and marry someone else? Most men do. Beauty is not most men. And even if you're right, that's why I need you, so he does not do that. No. It could be anyone else. Literally anyone else in the world. Why me? Because you are good, baby. You're amazing, compassionate. Look, all those your tough girl, tough girl attitude. 
I know it's just a facade. I know this because we are alike. I was orphaned at age 13. And I had to fend for myself. So looking strong was my only option. If you're saying all of this to make me see how alike we are, to lure me into this mad plan of yours, it's not going to work. I'm just trying to make you see reasons. You can't deny you like him. Whatever feelings I had for him died the moment I found out he was married. And to you! Look, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Whatever feelings I had for him died, my foot. doing here? Shouldn't you be resting? As Mohammed refused to go to the mountain now. Uh, what do you want, please? What do you think? You know, if you're my lazy sister, I would smack you on the head for being so silly. But I'm not. Look, if you don't have any other thing to say, I think you should just leave. I shut the door behind you. Ah! Oh! Oh my God! Uh, Are you okay? Are you okay? Should should I should I call your doctor? Of course, of course, I need to call your doctor. Wait, where's your phone? How's that? Okay. Shit! I can't leave you here. I can't leave you here. We have to go. To... <laughs> gotcha. I thought you said you didn't care. Look how panicky you are. <laughs> Is this some sort of joke to you? How could you play with someone's emotions like this? And then you'll say I'm silly. I, I, I just wanted your attention. Is that so bad? Yes, it is, okay? I watched my mother. The pain that she... I'm sorry. Really, am I... I didn't mean to dredge up old wounds, please. It's okay. Have you eaten? Kind of. Which one is kind of now? Have you or have you not? I have, but maybe I'm craving something else. What? Your puree. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-uh. I thought you said you hated it. Ah. When did I ever say that? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> okay, if you won't go away, at least find somewhere to sit. You know you shouldn't be standing for so long. If you insist. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, for someone who is sick, you sure have a lot of energy. You think so? Yes. <laughs> My husband would not agree with you. <laughs> he seems to think I have no energy at all. I mean, even to walk, he always supports me. If that man can carry me on his back, he would. <laughs> wow. Um, talking about Tibe makes you uncomfortable? It does. Of course. Bibi, Bibi, I, I understand this, but, but I need 
you to want this as badly as I do. Want what exactly? I've told you I'm not interested. Please. We don't have time. We need to plan now, else we'll lose him for good. And the thought of that scares me even more than the thought of dying. Baby, please. <laughs> is it just me or do you always lose your cool anytime BB's around? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that um, whatever this is, I, I don't like it. What do you think this is? I don't know. But I'm just not um... comfortable. Look, babe. Bibi is a very nice girl. I enjoy her company. Besides, I'm already dying, so... <laughs> what more can she do to me? Why would you even bring that up? Come on. Just saying. Okay, you know what? It's fine. I'll drop it. But just know... Mm -hmm. I will be watching her closely. Fair enough. <laughs> mm. Come, let me show you something. Okay, I would like to see. <laughs> I agree to be part of this madness. What's in it for me? Give me one good reason why I should do this. What if I told you destiny made it possible for you to be here this time? I don't believe in abstract things like destiny. Then picture this. You meet a man, fall in love with him. And just when it feels like you will never see him again, you change houses and boom, he's your next door neighbor. If that is not destiny, then I don't know what is. If destiny wants me to take a sick woman's husband, isn't it cruel? No. No. He can never be cruel if I am the one asking. No. I am begging you. I'm begging you to please. Please take care of my husband after I'm gone. Please help me take care of you, T. Take care of my baby for me. Please. Please. Take care of him for me.
Good morning, madam. Good morning. Let's say you like this our house. You don't come again. do you think you do? What do you mean? Oh, don't play dumb with me. What? If there's anyone playing dumb here, it's you. Utsebe? Heck, I didn't even know that was your name up until now. You've treated me like a total stranger. Actually, no. You've treated me worse. I don't understand. How am I supposed to treat you? Huh? Are we friends? No, we are not friends. Neither are we enemies. What's your deal? It's not like your wife doesn't already know what happened between us. Precisely the reason you should stay far away from my house. Oh, I would very much like to. But your wife doesn't seem to want that. If I don't show up, she does. You don't want your sick wife walking around where she should be resting. Now, do you? Babe? If, if you do anything that would remotely jeopardize the health of my wife any further, I swear on you. God, I will not sit still. Oh, are, you, are you okay? Yes, I thought someone was at the door. Um, yeah, there was someone at the door. Who? Who's that? Um, no. Good morning, baby. How did you sleep? Good enough. You? <laughs> well, you already know. <laughs> and you look lovely, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> I'll set the table. I'll help. Thank you. No. Babe, you don't have to be so rude. It already? Yeah, why? I should go home and get some rest. I have a long day tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> you and your children. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. I feel so sorry for myself too. <laughs> but I wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, <laughs> babe, you see my face, she's a lovely person. I mean, not many people can boast of visiting an orphanage once in their entire lifetime. But you, you're there every other month. <laughs> that doesn't make me a lovely person. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> good night. Good night, hon. Good night. Maybe she said good night now. Good night. Babe, 
Uh-uh, you don't want to be so rude to her now. I wasn't rude. I trained you better. <laughs> okay, mommy, sorry. No vex, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> but on a serious note, you should be nice to her. I mean, she's a good person. A lovely girl. To what end? Look, I don't know what you playing at or why. But I'll tell you this. I will never look at her the way I look at you. What happened that night was a mistake and I regret it. And it's never going to happen again. Hello, Oga Salami. Good afternoon. Yeah, yes, yes, thank you. I beg, Oga Salami. I beg, my car just stopped for road now, now. You know one starts. You feel come check him? <sighs> you know, they. Hey, God. Hey, God. Uh, you feel some person making come, make come check him? Okay, okay. Okay, no, Wahala. Thank you. <sighs> Hi, Abby. Good afternoon. Hey, baby girl. How far? <laughs> have you gone? Yes, I have. I'm sorry for not checking in before leaving. I was in a hurry, so I just had to rush out. But I'm not even sure I can make it again. Why? What happened? My car just stopped on the road. And it has never happened before. Really? Where are you right now? I'm just like three streets away from the house. Oh, that's not very far. Just stay right there. My husband will come and get you, okay? What? What? No, no, no. It's fine. I can... Abby... Who's getting who from where? Babe. It's BB. She's stranded. Her car's got issues. So you're going to take her to the orphanage and I will uh, call the mechanic to, to check on her car. Wait, I'm not leaving you alone. I promise. I'm fine. I didn't take time off work to start chauffeuring someone else around. No, I'm not going to do it. Case closed. What are you doing? Get in, let's go. Um, um I actually
actually have some stuff in the boot. Open it now. Sorry, sorry. Do anything, just stay out of my way. Seems like a nice young man. The man you came with. He is. So, should I start getting my shape <laughs> ready? <laughs> no, no, Matron. He's a married man. No, 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 not like that. Just, he's neither a friend nor an enemy. Just someone I'd like to be there for when his world falls apart. And you? Me? Who's there for you when your world falls apart? Those nights when you cry yourself to sleep? Or do you think of yourself as a superwoman who doesn't need anyone? You should have come to me, Barry Befe. The loss of a parent isn't something anyone should go through by themselves. Oh God. It must have been hard for you. Go ahead, it's fine. <laughs> Great kids. They are. Thank you so much for today. You're welcome. Uh, frankly, I, I had a good time. I, I didn't think I would, but yes, I had fun. <laughs> really? I honestly thought you'd hate me more after today. No, I, I never hated you. If anything, I... Um, <laughs> you know... Have a good day. Yeah. You too. Was this not what I wanted? Why does it hurt so much to see them together? Get it together, Abigail. You are doing the right thing. Of it, Barry Biffy. You're going to see Abigail and not a man. Also, what's with this dress?
Hi. Hi. Um. Oh, um. You look nice. Uh, going out? Uh, no. Are you? <laughs> no. Why? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Um, Abigail? She's sleeping. Um, maybe I should go and come back no. later. Uh, or maybe you could join me in the kitchen, help me in the kitchen. Would you like to? Hmm? Oh, um, I'd love to. Stressing yourself, it's okay. I'm not complaining, am I? <laughs> okay. Actually, my husband is right. Pardon? Perhaps you should go to your house, Barry Biffy. My husband and I would like some alone time, if you don't mind. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> Hi, I'm good. Thank you. Bye. You look like you want to run after her. What? You seem more concerned about her than your dying wife. Babe, why are you talking like this? Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Like, does something need to happen for me to want to spend a long time with my, my husband? No, um, it's fine. No, I, I hear you, okay? But first, let me put this away, okay? find out what's happening. Yes, I should. <laughs> you okay? You sure do you want something? No, I'm fine. Let me get it. Don't. It might be Bibi, you know. The more reason why I don't want you to get it. When she's done embarrassing herself, she'll leave. Oh, it's not. If it's actually Bibi, she's probably here to check up on you. And you want me to leave her standing? Really? 
check up on me? Are you sure it's just me she's checking up on? Anyway, I did not ask anyone to check up on me. Thank you. Okay, I... I... I don't understand where this is coming from. This is not you. What's going on? Yes. This pettiness is not me. Well, how would you expect me to be when my husband is giving all his attention to another woman and I am not even gone yet? <laughs> Babe, I don't understand. You, you have been pushing me towards her all the while and now I am giving her all the attention? Yes. I pushed you to her. But that's for you to be happy after I'm gone. Not while I'm still here. You fucking with her right in my face, you team. Hey, 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 hey. When did I frolic with Bibi? You want me to be happy while you're gone? Do you know how hard this is for me? Plus, you don't get to play God over my life. No, you don't. Babe, I, I'm not trying. I, I, just, I just wanted to... Doctor. Hello, Doctor. <clears throat> you mean to tell me? That I, I, I am not dying. I am terribly sorry, Abigail. One of our rookie nurses swapped your test result with that of another patient. When she was rushed in here last night, I thought her symptoms were too severe. We had to check back and realize she's the one with cancer. Your case was just a mere gear, gastroesophageal reflux disease. I know this is an unforgivable mistake, but please, please, please forgive us. Doctor, no, I'm not even going to call you because you're not qualified to be called that name. How dare you sit there and tell me to forgive? Do you have any idea what you have put my family through in this past week? Do you? I am so sorry. I know there's no way I can pay for what you've been through. But please, I will take full responsibility. going on? Is Abigail okay? She's fine. Then, did I do something wrong? No, you, you, you did nothing wrong. I feel like she suddenly doesn't want me around anymore. Um, Bibi, I'm sorry. I, 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 I'll have to talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay. What are you doing? What's this? As you can see, I thought I'd pour myself a drink while my husband snuggles up to another woman. For heaven's sake, what's with this new attitude? Where is the woman I married? Well, I'm right here, baby. 
I'm here, looking at you. But you don't see me anymore, do you? Because you have your eyes set on another woman. And whose fault is it? Whose fault is it? <laughs> you don't even deny it. Beauty. We just got news. That I am no longer dying. We should be celebrating. Heck, we should be turning up the roof. And here we are, fighting because of another woman. And whose fault is it, I ask you again? Whose fault is it? Oh, I, I can't do this. No. Oh, me. What was supposed to be the happiest day of my life turned out to be the saddest. Because as I watched him walk away, I knew then that I had lost him. God. <laughs> You're here. Yuti, what are you doing here? Escaping. You left her all alone? We should go back now. I don't want to. Yuti, I don't know what's going on, but you shouldn't leave her alone. She's unwell. She's fine. No, she's not. Trust me. She should definitely sue that hospital. I would. I mean, how can you play with someone's life like that? They said it was a mistake. Mistake my foot. They should definitely take responsibility for the emotional damage they've caused your family. They shouldn't get off so easily. What? I'm being serious here and... Yuti, you shouldn't be here. You should be at home celebrating with Abigail. There's nothing to celebrate. UT. I don't want to go back, baby. What are you talking about? I mean, I'm happy for her and all, but I would be lying to myself if I say I want to go back. I mean, like, my whole life has not been turned upside down. UT. I know how hard it's been for you, but... I love you. What? Baby, I have fallen in love with you like she wanted. No, no, not like this. Like how, then? Did you not think that this could happen? I thought, I yeah, thought. you thought she would die, and then you would keep me like I'm some item, you know, some item that um, you know, both of you can toss around each other. No, don't say it like that, please. Well, that's exactly what it is. The only difference is she is not dying. And I'm not ready to give up on you. Uh, no, UT. You must. I am not going to be the reason someone's marriage breaks. I'm sorry.
you know what this makes me? Tell me. A husband snatcher. I won't be the first. Not funny. You know, I don't think you'll be the type that'll be bothered about some um, rumors. When they're not true. But this? Yes. This time, you were coaxed into it. Myself inclusive. So it's not your fault. What do we do now, UT? Ah, perfect timing. Welcome. I need breakfast. <laughs> Take a seat. Come on, sit. One second. <laughs> <laughs> so, so weird, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know it's been a while since I made breakfast, but I promise, going forward, I will make it up to you. I'll make it up for all the lost time. Go on. Ah, uh, plantain, your favorite. <laughs> Eat, baby. So, you look so cold. Huh? Hmm. It's very nice. There we go. Doctor called and said I should come in for um, some tests and follow up. Quite frankly, I don't want to hear anything about the hospital again. So pissed. There we go. We need to talk. No, we don't. We are perfect. There we go. Babe. I don't want to hear it. Are you happy? I, I didn't realize you were here. I asked you a damn question. Are you happy now that you've gotten everything you've always wanted? 
I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear anything you said because you can't possibly mean it. But I'm not going to play dumb either. Abby, I think we need to talk. Talk about what exactly? You sleeping with my husband right in my face? What's that the plan, baby? I'm sorry. Oh, really? You clearly are not, because if you were, you would be long gone, hiding your shameless face, you slut. Why? What did I do so wrong to hide my face in shame? All I did was follow a script that you wrote for me, Abby. The script that neither I or Utibe wanted to follow. But now that things didn't go according to your plan, I'm a slut. You're not dying, and I am very delighted. But I'm not going to take responsibility for your decisions. You were supposed to wait till I'm gone. How? How, Abby? How was I supposed to know that any of this was going to happen? I'm not God, and neither are you. I love you, Abby. I love you so much. But this, this is on you. Babe? 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 Babe. for you at the bar. Baby, I am so sorry. What I feel for you is really strong. And it's growing even stronger. But my mind is messed up with the whole situation. I need to take time to clear my head. It's me and now I'm lonely I swear I'm running back to you Every day and every second I promise I'll love and stay right with you. here with you See girl, I'm sorry uh, Now I understand that you got my back and you love me uh, How can I be sublime? Reality It's me and now I'm lonely
supply.